Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of F1 24 2 player career mode here on the channel. Hope you're all having a great day. Today we have the British Grand Prix following the wild ending to the Austrian Grand Prix where Matt picked up his first win of the season in quite controversial fashion, literally just sailing it off into the penultimate corner and just blowing me or bulldozing me off the circuit. Uh, certainly didn't take a liking to that ending, but it is what it is. We can't change it. We got to move on. We got to move forward and certainly keep that in the back of our minds coming into today, but going forward as well into the rest of the Grand Prix that this season holds. Now, uh, I apologize for the lack of uploads in recent days. I've had a crazy, crazy busy week, um, but I'm looking finally like I'm starting to be able to get back to our normal uh, normal scheduled programming here over the next few days which is going to be nice uh, so yeah hopefully we'll be all right from here on out uh, for the next while now as uh, FP1 the car felt really good actually I was uh, finding a lot more pace in my V car than Matt was finding uh, we were P10 in practice while Matt was down there in P18 and yeah I was quite confident coming into one shot qualifying we start one shot qualifying with a typical issue no force feedback so uh, I go into the pause menu really quick and then just exit it and that does the trick now which is good to know like I said recently that we have at least found a easy fix outside of having to disconnect the wheel and, and reconnect it so uh, a nice easy fix now that we can uh, just do really quick and not lose really any time uh, as overall this lap it had a bit of a sloppy aspect to it uh, in the first part but I really cleaned it up at the end of sector one going through sector two uh, definitely sector two was my strongest sector of this whole lap got through the S's really, really well, uh, but as we come through this third and final sector now through the long, sweeping right-hander heading down to the final couple of turns, crucial to get these corners right now as we go into the braking zone, locking up a little bit, then actually catching too much curb, and I just felt like I absolutely ruined my lap and certainly cost myself at least a tenth or two through there. We cross the stripe and still manage P11 while Charles Leclerc goes P1 uh, over Lando Norris, but we go P11, but Matt continuing to struggle for pace all the way down down and dead last. He needs to find something going into the Grand Prix, otherwise it's going to be a very sloppy race for him. Let's get ready to roll here from Silverstone. <laughs> oh, Gary, I love you. Right, let's do this thing. British Grand Prix from the back. Should have taken grip pens. No force feedback. I just need one to survive this game, chat. This game, this race. Am I muted or not? Uh, I'm Sergeant, don't do there that, we go. please. Don't mind if I. Da -da 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 That's a pretty good start, I'll take it. And the answer is Jill. Gary's under steering as well. Yep, very much so. Yeah, I'd be yeah, so you patient mind. there. Okay, the wow, Perez yeah, did not want to leave room. Do we look at contracts after this race, or do we do them next stream? I, I think we can do it next one. Yeah? Because it would be going into, like, next episode. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I just muscled the daylights out of Perez. I said, see you later. Ugh. What wing are you running here, sir? 38 again. What? <laughs> Same as Austria. Did I put it in my Austria setup? That just seems coincidental. Yeah. I don't reckon Danny Rick's the right choice, but I think he'll be the one that gets it. Like I said last week, it's just like, if Perez is gone, it doesn't really matter who gets the car. It's just a test session at that point for half the season and hope that they can... Uh get the points for the team for Red Bull to get the constructors. Like I'm just getting mugs down the straights. Oh, come on, Matt. Well, we're starting to train hard, so you might have some opportunities here. I think we're going to be able to get a few spots now. They are... No one's making a move. Long line of cars. We need to start pouncing on it, though. Let's focus on getting Checo here on lap five. Something just happened. The ERS broke, but it's back. Okay. 
Oh, he does that. That happened last uh, week as well. Like two seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Unless he ends up at like Alpine. Yeah, but he, why would they have him? Well, there's definitely an issue with the battery. We are. The battery's just cooking. Yeah. I'm going. I'm losing battery like crazy. Is it fixed now? I think it's fixed now. I think it's in our best interest to follow Stroll because he is, I would imagine, with that train effect, he's going to get to them. So if we stay, we can kind of get our battery repaired here to where it needs to be again as well. Wouldn't be surprised if Matt pits. Here it goes. There he goes. He's pitting now. I called it. I always forget the pit lane's 50 now. I here. said, Matt it's is so going to great. pit this lap. Oh, well, I've got to, haven't I? I'm not doing anything. This might be the shortest video I ever do from this series, Gary. From the longest to the shortest. Pretty much, yeah. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> the pit issue, right? Yep. Oh, no. That's me finishing last. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please do make sure to leave a like. Get yourself subscribed. Uh, yeah, we'll be back next time out then uh, from Hungary. Maybe I'll be in a better car for that, but who knows. I'm pitting this lap because we need to try and undercut to get up to their DRS. So let's see if we have a pit issue. No issues, please. Good. Oh, for God's sake. Sorry, Matt. 2.5. I had a 5.5 second stop. Pit strategy complete. See these tires through to the end now. Twisty old, thank you for the follow. I appreciate had an it. Issue. Oh, one in. I don't know. Oh, I'm ahead of Albert at least. What well, the situation is going to be here? So. Um, we're just going to have to let things play out through this pit cycle, and then I don't know. We might just really be looking at P10 uh, unless something happens, but. I don't have the pace to run these guys down. We just don't have... We don't have the car. Matt certainly doesn't have the car. We don't have anything, so... Like, this series isn't just about sweating. Look at that. Focused. Oh, for cow! <laughs> Think that much faster than me! Ugh! Yeah, I'm just getting so dominated on straightaway. Well, both has. We can both play the touring car Ugh. game if you want. Why is Stroll in P15, Gary? What did you do to him? I have not done anything. I don't know how he ended up back there. I'm assuming an issue. Yeah, to be fair, Alvin's dropped away as well. How what are we stuck in want? this massive train even after the pit cycle? What position are you in? P10. Okay. Right where I was at the beginning of the pit cycle. Just now I'm with the pack. You, sh you should have been here an hour ago when we did the Austrian Grand Prix. That was Look at the run. Look at the run. Muscle them out. Who cares? Well, hope you had a good stream, buddy. I appreciate all the new follows. Thank you very much. Nice work, mate. That brings you up. I've got to try and battle with Kevin Magnuson here, chat, for a glorious P15. Put me in the Red Bull. Harry's fighting for the points. No, 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 no. Oh, the two McLarens are not getting along. This is just... Oh, well, that's not good because then they're going to put a whole second between them and the cars in front. Yeah, this track is just all about... The DRS, isn't it? Ugh! Corey LaJoy, I'm thinking like AI Xfinity. Oh my god. <laughs> that might oh, be illegal. That was illegal. Oh no. Oh no. I would be very surprised to see that. But you never know. Bro, it is Magnus. What are you careful. doing? You good? Norris ran behind me the whole time. Hey, what do you mean? I got a 10 second penalty. <laughs> he literally followed me. I drove into the grass. I drove into the grass and he followed me. So you're telling me there's a chance I could beat you still. Oh, no, Are I'm you serious? So Norris, out of cops, right? He's side by side with Piastri. Yeah. And he... 
like loses the rear end and has to yep. correct it and I have to dive off the track to not plow into the back of him. Yeah, yeah. So I pass him, whatever. But Verstappen's also going through on him, so I'm just like, okay, I'll give it up after the S's because there's enough time. Okay, wait. That time's and then the Verstappen oh, goes through, good. Norris comes up behind me and then just follows my whole lane to the right side of the track. I pull half a car width off into the grass and he just stays tucked on my rear wing. <laughs> Harry, you think what I'm thinking? Hold on, I'm chucking Norris off the circuit. Give me a second. <laughs> what were you saying? Oh, what is this? I'm just getting swamped. Man, that's unfortunate, man. I mean, what do you even do there? I mean, we did nothing wrong. <laughs> Norris just said, watch this. Hera is here to stay. Bro threatened legal action. They said, you know what? You win this one. <laughs> Let's be fair. It's not going to get a lot better, is it? I mean, I'd get in that car and I'd probably win. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a trained professional. Gary, you can't even win in this car. I mean, I could. I could have if uh, someone would have raced me clean, you know? Just almost decapitated Logan Sargent, but it's okay. I'm going to let Lando through. Not much I can really do here. Get good. Oh, okay. What a lackluster race for Matt and myself. I wouldn't even describe mine as lackluster. I'd just describe it as terrible. I would have liked to have seen what would happen if, uh, you know, Lando Norris didn't get up to some trickery. Little hobgobbler. You don't think so? You don't think, like, Ricardo no, could do no. better than Perez? I don't, I don't think they'll win it anyway, to be honest. Okay. I think mean, you put anyone in that car, they're not going to adjust quick enough. Ricardo wins first Grand Prix back. <laughs> If he won the first Grand Prix back at Zandvoort, I think they would be Oh, upgraded. that would be insane. One lap to go. One lap to go, Gary. Oh. <laughs> Thank God. It's credit one bank. It is still... Look at this train. Look at it. Is this the map from the YouTube reels I watch occasionally? It might be I. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Well, there you have it. Around the final turn. Who is it going to be? Leclerc or Sainz? It's Carlos Sainz winning the British Grand Prix as we round the final turn. P9 penalty should drop us to about 13th, 14th. Um, 14th it will be. The dumbest... 14th and 15th for the team is pretty sad. Dumbest penalty I've ever seen. I don't even know what to say about that moment with Lando Norris. Carlos Sainz does pick up the win over Hamilton. Uh, the AIs, they just trained the whole race. It was disgusting. Um, but yeah, I don't even know what to say. Uh, we were on track for a solid result uh, until we weren't. And I literally pulled off the whole circuit. And Lando Norris still refused to overtake me. And we get a 10 second time penalty. Never seen uh, something as egregious as that. It is what it is, and unfortunately, we still got a long ways to go to run down Matt in the points. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching, and have a great day. Yeah,